everybody, Mika here and I'm back again with another video. So in this video, I'll be doing a makeup tutorial using Kylie Cosmetics. I recently just got the Kai Shadow, the burgundy palette. I'll be doing the eyeshadow look with this. And then I also got the Leo Lip Kit. A bunch of neutral colors. And this is my kind of palette. I don't do anything crazy with my eyeshadow. Most of the time I just put eyeliner and mascara and call it a day. So let's go ahead and jump into the makeup tutorial. So I already washed my face earlier today before my moisturizer. I used the Murad Oil Mattifying Primer. Primer? Moisturizer? For primer, I'm going to be using the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming perfecter this is really good actually it is really mattifying and i'm really oily all over my face but mostly on my nose and this just sucks it all up so for foundation i mix two foundations i switched to born this way by two face i actually really like this it's just it's not enough coverage for me if you want like a medium to full it is buildable it's not that buildable for me to be like a full face to cover up my uh dark spots that just won't go away. So I mix it with the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation and this stuff is full coverage. To apply I'm just going to use the Real Technique sponge. Next for concealer I'm going to use the Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer in the shade Deep Tan. say it like that so I'm gonna go with that so I'm gonna take my Morphe MB35 do I look snatch do I look like cut so next up I'll just do my brows I just use the Anastasia brow definer and chocolate so I just brush my eyebrows out use the other side to film it. I think they look pretty good. Next, we're gonna move to the eye. Bring on in a little closer. Ooh, a little closer. How do I look, you guys? All right, so for primer, I'm just gonna use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So we're moving into the eyes. So I think I'm going to start in the crease. Grab my Flamin brush. This is the Morphe M139. I think I'm going to take this shade right here. And that one is called Beach. So I'm just going to pop that in the crease. I'm gonna take this other blending brush. This is the OG Sigma brush. The Sigma tapered blending brush. The E40 blush. <laughs> blush. The E40 brush. And I'm just gonna take, let's see, which one do I wanna do? I'm gonna take this darker brown shade and just pop that in the crease as well. Make it a little darker. As you can tell, I don't really have eyelids. It's a little foldy part right here gets on my nerves trying to make it as big as possible stay above the crease that i have so i can fake my eyelid to make it look bigger i want to add a pop color i think i'm going to do a halo eye this color right here in the middle on both sides of my eye and i'm just going to use the same brush that middle shade is called burgundy that is not burgundy that is a hot pink Cool, cool. 
You can see all this harsh lining up here. Linen brush that we used earlier for the crease color. I'm just gonna take that and in these outer parts because that is looking so crazy. looks pretty good so for the shade that we're gonna pop right here in the middle of the lid I think we're gonna go with this shade right here it's called bye and then we're gonna go with that blending brush that we use to put the pink on the outer corners and just put a little bit more since it kind of disappeared Bring it inwards towards the gold color that we used earlier. Do blend it. And just take the blending brush from earlier and just blend that all out. So for the brow bone highlight, I'm just gonna take this shade right here and we're just gonna take this Sigma large shader. It is the E60. And we're gonna take that same blending brush we used earlier and blend it out. So for the inner tear duct area, I'm gonna add, not from the palette, but it is a matte shadow. And this is nylon. And I'm gonna take my Sigma pencil brush. This is the B30. It's a little dirty right now because I did not clean my brushes. So next, I'm gonna do eyeliner. I really suck at doing it on camera, so I'm gonna try. I finally bought a new one because I was running out. This is the Revlon Color Stay. I usually just connect it to the end of my eyebrows. What the fuck is going on? Hello? So he finna act like he don't know what just happened today. Okay, so I just went ahead and did my eyeliner off camera because I just could not do it on camera. Next, I'm gonna add my mascara and this is new. I'm using the Rimmel London Allium Lash uh, Scandal Eyes. It's okay. Mascara is mascara, I guess. I just like the big wand that it has. So now we're gonna zoom back out and finish the rest of my face. So for highlighter, we're just gonna go with the old handy dandy Becca highlighter and Opal. This was my very first highlighter that I bought. And this is the Morphe Fan Brush. It is the M310. that little exclamation point and then I'm gonna take my Leo kit this whole masterpiece with the Urban Decay Bold Day Slick. This is the only setting spray that I use. I hear footsteps. And that concludes this look. I'm just gonna remind you guys that I'm no makeup guru, so this is looking pretty good to me. It's not up to like Desi Perkins level or like crispy level, but so it's doable. Make sure you subscribe. Also click the little bell that's right beside the subscribe button just so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.